May the Lord bless you guys. I want to implore, exhort, and encourage you. Do not miss your day of visitation. Hallelujah. Do not miss the boat. You know, there are certainly Kairos times the Lord hovers over us prophetically in certain seasons. There are opportune times, strategic times, Kairos seasons, times of visitation, but we can miss it. Now, I'll be honest, I've worked with some ministries personally. These ministries could have been great and done great things for the kingdom of God and it just completely boggles your mind how they missed the day of visitation and the Cairo season and time that was upon them. And Jesus, Jesus cried, guys. Jesus wept because they missed their day of visitation. Do not hit this spiritual snooze button and put off the timing and the Cairo season that's upon you. If the Lord's hovering and breathing. Now, let me say it like this. I'll show up at a basketball court. I'll see a kid 6'4". This kid could be a beast. He could be great. Great ball player. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just the right build skills, but I see laziness in him and on him. He's not doesn't have the killer instinct. He's not hungry enough. He's not getting up at 6 a.m., training for two hours, going to school, yada, yada, training for another two, three, four hours at night. Guys, you got to be committed. You know, and it's not about works, but let's deal with reality around here. The Bible says if we draw near to him, he'll draw near to us. So there's something to be said about pressing into the Lord. Now, it's not striving and works. It's a relationship and commune. And the analogy with ath athletics could be a little misconstrued, but you get the point of what I'm trying to say. Listen, the parable of, think of the parable of the talents, where the Lord entrusted different, he, he wanted stewardship over, over that which he entrusted these people with in talents. So he gives one, you know, five talents, another two or three, another one, and the one produces and multiplies and that, that was since entrusted through stewardship but the one that had the one talent and buried it he took the talent the thing that god entrusted him with and he and he says well i was scared you're a hard taskmaster and he came back and he says he said you wicked and loth, slothful serve now listen i'm not i'm not coming on here to be hard if anyone's missed it or missed missed the boat, you can come back. I always do shows. You know that. Come on, you haven't missed it, huh? But listen to this now. Luke chapter 19 and verse 41. By the way, before I continue, if you're new, it'd be an honor. Subscribe. I'm also live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern New York, prophesying, preaching, praying. How many, how many have missed it? I certainly have myself. Hit the amen button, the like button, the thumbs up button in the comments section. We can all testify that we've all missed it in one time or another. But I'm just saying to continuously, persistently miss it over and over again. Your day and keep putting off the Lord, the call of God, the plan of God, the purpose, the will, the intention of heaven over your earth. Luke 19, 4. Now, as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it. And then the latter part of verse 44, because you did not know the time of your visitation. My God, when the Lord visits you, when the Lord visits your house, when the Lord visits you individually, when the Lord visits you corporately, when the Lord visits a region, we have got to respond and move, move with the ebbs and the flows, the invitation of the Lord. Don't hit the spiritual snooze button. And Father, we do repent. Forgive us. We're sorry, Lord, for having missed it in times past. But Lord, next time or even the time that we're going to apprehend, we're going to take hold of the thing that you want us to take hold of. My God, friends, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.